I heard he mooned yes. a teacher. I got a, I got a letter in the mail. Uh, we need to speak to you because of your child's lewd behavior in school. I have to take a day off of work to go discuss your butt at school. Well, it wasn't even me. So. You, you're still saying it wasn't you, but they said they had witnesses. Prove it. You got cameras. Let's see the footage. You know? Yo guys, welcome to today's video. How are you? It's Jason Nash here. Welcome back to Jason Nash Comedy. Uh, we've got a great vlog for you today. Uh, Jeff and I were in New York recently and we went back and visited his parents. But before we begin, I have some stand-up shows coming up. I'll be in San Francisco on June 8th at Cobb's Comedy Club, June 9th in Chicago at uh, the Chicago Improv, and then in Boston uh, on June 15th. Also, check out the merch. My little friend here is promoting uh, restaurant I'm Dead, restaurantimdead.com or fanjoy.co backslash Jason Nash. Also, my mobile game, Carpool Dad, is available and it is free to download. And uh, that's been doing great. Go download Carpool Dad and see if you can beat it. Okay, I love you guys. Enjoy the video. Headed to New York City with Jeff, who's behind me. Big weekend. We're going a little early because Friday we're going to go see Jeff's hometown, Staten Island. Hopefully get some pizza. Hopefully meet some of the boys from the block. Ooh, Pete's Coffee. Carly, Aaron, I'm about to cheat. I know we're Starbucks for life, but pizza's good too. Jeff's here, he just came up and stabbed me. There he is. Are you gonna get murdered? He just came up behind me and went, it's already done. <laughs> Put his tan around my throat. It's a proper Staten Island greeting. Yeah, the knife's already in you. I'm just gonna pull it out and you're gonna take a nap. That's it. You excited? Good to see you, man. I'm excited, yeah. I'm already looking at hotels with the best gymnasiums. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's great. So we're going on a fitness trip, yep. do a little comedy, yep. and that's our lives, man. We work out, we make jokes. Jeff and I almost got on the wrong plane. That would have been an even better vlog. If this was David, we'd be boom, running right as we get off and just sprinting. So different traveling with you. Why? Because like when I got off the plane, my first instinct was to be like, He's just insane. Look at how nice this terminal is, huh? That way. Baggage claim. I thought you were from here. I'm not from the airport. This is how I'm walking. Literally. I don't know how much longer I can do this, guys. I don't know how much longer I can be a vlogger. Okay, we're with Jeff. We're gonna go to Staten Island. I've never been there before. Staten Island, the best borough in New York. I, I even lived here for six years and I never went to Staten Island, I don't think. That's where they put all the trash and uh, like a big dump <laughs> and it kind of like mutated a lot of the people there and then they repopulated and that's how you get me. I'm like an X-Men without the superpowers, you know? Did the trash like affect, give people like weird diseases I mean, some kids, and stuff? Some kids I went to school with had like three, four arms, <laughs> maybe a couple extra fingers, but for the most part it's pretty much just like LA. Okay. I don't know what to expect. Is there grass out there? Or is grass. it just city? There's a little both. A little both? <laughs> is there grass there? Yeah, man, what do you think? I feel like my accent's getting stronger since I've been here. <laughs> your accent is, by yes, your accent has been on fire been since we got longer. here. I, today I saw you uh, talking to a duck. <laughs> I forgot how to pronounce my ahs. You know how to say ah? I like Long Island accents. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah Silverman. If you listen to Howard Stern, if Sarah Silverman's on, they go, because you know Sarah, Sarah's coming in. I don't get it. Is that cool. the accent? Cool. You just sound normal to me. <laughs> That's how my people talk. Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, you just did it. Sarah. Sarah. No, it's Sarah. 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 Sarah Silverman. Sarah. Sarah. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> if I hung out here for another three days, I will leave here sounding like Joe Pesci. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Uh, what time's David getting in? Uh? Hey, she's got me doing stand-up for the first time. Jeff's gonna do stand-up tomorrow, and then in July we're gonna co-headline. Yeah, right. This you, is the first and last. No way, man. I, might, I know you want to do it. I can tell. I'm I can tell. On... You're, you're itching it. You don't want to just be a pretty face or an Instagram model. I'm actually taking this trip. I'm taking you to Staten Island with me to get the approval from my parents. For what? That I'm going to go up there and do this. I just want to let them know. You're going to say, oh, can we come? And I'm going to say, nope. <laughs> you can't. You can't come to the first one. But eventually, 
welcome. Jason and I are selling out Madison Square Garden. You know what I love about your mother? It seems like every time you put up a video, you're on the phone with her. Like, kind of talking about it. She's like, oh yeah, I watched her. I've seen you do that a couple times. I do. She, she like watches your videos and gives you feedback. I, I like to get approval from her <laughs> because, you know, she's the one who raised me and, and I'm not around her anymore. So right. sometimes I could, you know, get distracted and go down the wrong path. And yeah. I like her to kind of stop me from going down that path too far before it's too late. Was there a joke that she didn't like once? Yeah, there's things like, well, I say a lot of unnecessary curses, and but she doesn't like that. They don't add humor. If they don't add humor to it, then she doesn't like. Oh, it. Well, that's a, that's actually a good good rule. That's a really good rule, actually. She says it sounds trashy. One time I smashed out those windows in the 7-Eleven. No, you didn't. That was my first arrest. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. Why'd you smash the windows? A big fight. There. Just that you were fighting somebody. Yeah. Fighting the employees in the store. <laughs> and then I took a Snapple bottle that was glass, and I <laughs> chucked it through it and smashed it all down. <laughs> but you know what? That makes sense why they changed it to plastic now. Because all these situations <laughs> involve these Snapple bottles that we use as weapons all the time. Yeah, they must have got a call at headquarters that our product <laughs> is being... Guys over in Staten Island, <laughs> <laughs> our, our drinks is what? <laughs> <laughs> is this the rent? No. Hey, you can set up your shop here. Do a barber shop. Right there. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Competition. Here we go. This is the guy I was telling you about. Yeah? This is the guy that me up for life. Really? <laughs> the reason I am the way I am today. <laughs> <laughs> this is the inspiration for Jeff's barber shop. This is? Nut job torturing people all day. Really? No, I mean, not really, but I'll give him credit while we're here. <laughs> Get a shot of Nick's uh, neck tattoo. He's got the Verrazano on NYC. Holy sh! You do. <laughs> yeah. You do yeah. have the Verrazano. He just went over the Verrazano and he's like, wow, man. <laughs> you know, you just... How'd you meet Jeff? I just started working at the shop. Yeah. Like, just started working there. You just popped in? Yeah, way too yeah. young. Yeah, and then I moved in with him. We were roommates for yeah. about a year. None of us went to barber school. Yeah, I don't understand how you know how to cut hair if you didn't go to school. Yeah, I don't understand either. They all went to school. You just kind of do it. You didn't go to school, right? No, no, not at all. You started in the I just started when I was mad young out of my house. So I got Same, yeah. I, I don't understand. How do you know? I just wrecked everybody's hands, so I figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> Ask Nick here what he thinks about your shoes. <laughs> Nick, you what do you think about my shoes? Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you think? Looks like a Legos box. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was interesting. Yeah, he's an entertaining guy, huh? Does it make a lot more sense now? My underlining rage. <laughs> yeah, Does yeah. Just explain everything about me. Yeah, it's just it's just a wild place to grow up. I mean, I mean, it's just a crazy environment. It's like, like what the f is this guy doing over here? Collecting money? Look at him. <laughs> You're gonna have the money tomorrow. Gonna <laughs> to be big problems. <laughs> This is your old room? This is my old room. I put this rack up here for my sneakers, but my mom took it over. Yeah. We used to have a lot of like... Did you have a lot of sneakers? Oh, this was full. Really? And... I would love sneakers, um, man. Look at this. this yeah. My, Those are his old ones, but my, he gave... Oh, my husband's still wearing from... How long ago did you leave? Like 10 years ago? 10 years ago. They're still lasting. And my dad, my dad's sneaker he's game been is still wearing great. Them. Really? I couldn't yeah. bring them in the luggage with me to Miami when I left. Right. So, my mom. And look at this fish I caught. <laughs> we went to the beach that day and yeah. we weren't prepared for this. And right. he said to my husband, I'm going to catch the biggest fish here. Yeah. And my husband goes and he casts the pole. And yeah. then all of a sudden he he puts his lure on and he casts it. And all of a sudden, within a few seconds, I thought he, I had he hooked a struggling. cruise ship or something. You know? <laughs> I thought I was attached to something else. Like I didn't sure. know it was a, a living like thing. Yeah. And then, yeah. We, and you know, and we had nothing. To, he had to put it on his boogie board. We had nothing to carry it off on, so he put yeah. it on his boogie board. All the lifeguards came over because it was a big commotion. Came That's Jeff. I didn't even look at his face. I was yeah. looking at the fish. Look at you, your little blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. His hair was lighter then. Yeah. Look at that. What do you think about Jeff? He's pretty successful oh. now, huh? I uh, yeah. You must be really happy. I'm, re I'm really excited. I mean, it's Jeff. literally like a. Uh, it's not easy. It's a complete 180 turnaround from my childhood. <laughs> I, well, it sounds like you were a winner uh, when you were fishing. Yeah, but I... You always had it in you. I was like 10 years old in that picture. I went, like, I was going up a little, like, regular kid, and then 12 years old. Was it 12? Mm -hmm. Everything went wrong? Mm-hmm. 
middle middle school, junior high. Yeah. It all went south after that. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. You're getting phone calls from the teachers. I heard he mooned yes, a teacher. I got a I got a letter in the mail. Uh, we need to speak to you because of your child's lewd behavior in school. And I said, what? And they, I had a call to find out, and they said, well, he mooned the dean's office. I said, I have to take a day off of work to go discuss your butt at school. Well, it wasn't even me. So. It's, you, you're still saying it wasn't you, but they said they had witnesses. Prove it. You got cameras. Let's see the footage. You know? Well, maybe it didn't happen. Mom, I'm doing well, stand-up the, comedy tomorrow well, for the, the first time. Oh, well, the best was, well, the chase. Doesn't okay. care. It's a big deal for me. No. What was the chase? Well, you see how my kitchen is? Let's see. Okay, yeah. So I'm saying to him, okay. I have to go up to that school. Yeah. Meet with these people and discuss your butt. We're going together. He goes, no, no, I'll meet you up there. And I said, no, we're going together. Yeah. So he's standing by the front door there, and I'm standing right here. He runs out that door. Yeah. And I couldn't get to him because my husband and my son were here. My other son. I run out the side door, I chase him down the street. I had to go in because I was going to get expelled if I didn't show up. Right. And I had to bring her too. I needed, I, there was no way around it. And so why you know, I didn't do it. Why'd you run? I wasn't even the guy. Was yeah. A different arm shirt guy with spiky hair. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. So now we get down to the corner and the bus is coming right down the street here. He hops on the bus. And I'm still running. Survival mode. I have him on the bus too. Yeah. But now the bus driver. It's like an Antoine Fuqua movie. She didn't have a Metro card or any money. <laughs> no. I was good at my school Metro, so I popped it in, and then, who's this crazy lady? <laughs> the bus driver knew by the look on my face. Yeah, that she was He's after like, no, the go ahead, And I get him on the bus, <laughs> and I'm... <laughs> yeah. we're, we're going together! <laughs> yeah. I don't care! Yeah. We're going together! And he goes, Mom, relax, relax! <laughs> and I'm getting him, and, I, and I'm just... I, I could have just choked him on the bus. Yeah. But... Now we pull up, we're about maybe like a mile down the road. He jumps off the bus. <laughs> I have to jump off the bus. She's just chase, man. And, and we did this chase. He runs up this hill. You're like Jason Statham. And then we get to the school, and I'm like, it wasn't even no. me. No. <laughs> And he's sitting in the dean's office. Now I'm, I show up maybe 15 minutes later because it's like, he just put my dishwasher on. <laughs> why um, did why did you run if you're going to the school anyway? Um, I just what? I don't know, man. It's a, yeah. it those teen years. If I could have just avoided those, just... and I get to school and my hair's out like this, my face is beet red and I'm sweating, and my husband's at the school because he drove up there. He was he was worried. Like what happened to them? Yeah. And. I get into the dean's office and everybody's sitting there really nice and cool and calm and he's sitting and he goes, Mom, what took you so long? <laughs> <laughs> and he still denies it to this day. My boy. <laughs> he does. He still denies it. Well, maybe it didn't happen. Maybe it was another guy. We don't know. It's all a coincidence. If I ever catch that kid, that did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big claim. Number one pizza. Yeah, we'll see. This looks so good. All, no, all oh, wow. wow. Oh, my kids would die at this garlic knot. Come on, Chef. You ready? All right. Oh, it's really hot. It's really hot. Really hot. Yeah, wait, maybe wait a little bit. You yeah. don't have to rush it. Oh, you get one too, Chef. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Yeah. You need a fork. He owns the joint. Oh, really? This is incredible. This is incredible. Okay, I'll try it. That's the best Sicilian in the world. Really? They missed out. They missed out. They definitely missed out. This is, ex this is exactly how I wanted my day to go. Meet you and then get pizza. <laughs> yeah. I'll tag you. Don't worry. I'm going to give a big promo for the... To the <laughs> You better say Alfonso took me samples. I will, I will. I'll, I'll say, I'll say you took this guy took care of. Alfonso took care of us, guys. I'll look at the snap. I got a glass one. They're plastic. No, they're not. Are they plastic now? Yeah. Oh, they had to take them out of Staten Island. People were using them as a weapon, huh? Yeah, you know that, right? <laughs> That's what he told me. You know that. <laughs>
<laughs> Jeff said people would use them to crack them over people's heads. You got one there? <laughs> it's a good thing they changed, I guess. <laughs> That's how you greet people in Staten Island. You smash a Snapple bottle on the side of the head. What's this? That's for you. For me? Yes. Okay. They gave us samples. Well, there are your rolls. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, it comes. It comes with sauce. It's great. Kids would. They would die if they saw these. This would be the best month thing ever if you did stuff like that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. This is, this is a rice ball. You can just go like this. And Take a look. I love sauce or gravy. How do you say it? Yeah. Um. That's fantastic. Oh my god. Bye guys, thank you so much. That was incredible. That was incredible. Guys, you gotta go here. Brothers Pizza. Brothers number one pizza. Damn. Staten Island. Go. Best vlog ever. <laughs> <laughs> they used to have just two flavors. How many do they have now? A lot. A lot? What's your favorite? Jelly roll. Okay, look. Jelly roll. Oh, look at how many they have. Can you explain everything that you have here? Ices, cream ices, and then we have ice cream. Okay. So you can do whatever you want. But we're what's like, water ice and what's water cream ice? Like icing, and then cream ice is like a mix of water and milk. And milk, okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is this the water ice or the cream ice? That's the best Italian ice I ever had. Okay, I tasted the lemon, that's all I wanted. I'll take one more taste of something. Just a spoon. This is chocolate lotion, yeah. it's sugar free. Sugar free? It's good. It's actually really good. It's nice without the sugar. That's really good. Oh wow, this reminds me of my childhood. Bubble gum? This is blue Hawaii. Blue Hawaii. I always dreamed of going to Hawaii one day. I need to try this because this is like for older people. And this I don't is, like it. This is what? This is for older people. Why is it for older people? What is it pistachio? It's like spumoni. Oh, it's spumoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I'm a... <laughs> It's totally for an old person. She gave me spumoni. She goes, this is for what the old people get. <laughs> I got a stain on my shirt, guys. Jason likes to just do videos where he just walks around and talks by himself. That's a good grass yard. Yeah, it's nice. Jeff used to climb this tree. Yeah, and his brother. Oh, yeah. really? But Jeff's brother used to take Jeff's shoes he was, when he was a little kid. Put the shoes up in the tree. <laughs> come on, come inside. He doesn't edit like I do, Mom. All this stuff is going to be on the internet. Come on, come on. I don't know when my brother teased me with the shoes. Hey! Get out of my way. Hey, 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 Jason! Come on, we gotta watch your YouTube videos. I just heard about them. I'm gonna sell you them on there. Let's do it. You don't have to sell me. I'm already sold. Nice to meet you. We brought you an ice cream. Marie goes, well, my son does that. Maybe you've heard of him. Jeff Whittick. And of course he goes, Jeff Whittick? No. Is your son? Um, yeah. Right? Yes. And he's still looking to meet up with you. I mean, it's Staten Island, you know? <laughs> yeah. Just, I'm a I know you. Knows Jeff Whittick now. Sure. Now wait, now I'm going to send Hey, famous to birthdays doesn't lie. <laughs> Wait, He's here we are. Famous birthday on Staten Island. Oh, look it, because I said to Katrina. <laughs> you gotta cut that down. <laughs> no, come on, that's cute. She's she's supportive. My son is the number one famous birthday on Staten Island. Did you not know <laughs> that? Yeah. They don't they even understand my sarcasm. Oh, wait, oh, wait, I you know, still don't get even what you do, Jeff. So this is Jeff's dad. He has a YouTube channel called Dennis Whittick. No, 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 John, cut that out. <laughs> no. Why? He's, his videos are good. I like I. See, I, I like that you're doing it because when I was starting like two years ago, I felt like I was too old to do it, you know? So, so I like I when I... to make you feel a hell of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> and you do it because you, Jeff said... I want to prove my son wrong. <laughs> he says I'm not funny, but we're going to let the tail of the tape... You know, so okay. you've been going See for two happens. years, you still haven't proved me wrong. And I'm waiting. <laughs> every subscribe I got was because of him. <laughs> when you come to LA, we can film stuff. I'll film with you. Were you asking Jeff about what the vlog squad was? Yeah, I don't get what it is. It's a, is it a group of individual people? <laughs> yeah. It's embarrassing like, to explain. Like, how many people are there? 
How many people, Jeff? So we all do YouTube videos, and we do comedy stuff, and we all have a similar sense of humor, but we're all kind of different, and we, we, um, and if we help each other, yeah. and sometimes we'll help each other with ideas, or just being in each other's videos, and we all do our own videos, so we make our own money, and I don't know, man. And, but nobody pays to watch on YouTube. I mean, I never signed any contracts. <laughs> I don't know if I'm part of any squad. I, I kind of just hang out with the guys. Well, how do you know you're in the squad? It's like a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great question. How do you know if you're in the squad? Who just who decides if you're in the squad? Do the other members. The other members say, Jeff, come and be in our squad. Well, let's we've got like a leader of the pack. He's like a 19 year old kid. What's that guy's name? <laughs> David Dobrik. Name came from the, uh, the the people that watch. Now, like, let's say you go on YouTube. Right. See a video you like. Yeah. So do you send this guy a message and say, hey, you want to be on our squad? <laughs> technically, Is that yeah. how I guess are? technically you could. Look at that. Full moon. Someone's getting a Snapple bottle upside the head tonight. <laughs> <laughs>